Hi everybody, I thought I'd do some quick uh, distress painting and I'm using the Lawn, the Lawn Fawn Fantastic Friends stamp set. And I have some distress inks. I have uh, five of them and I'm going to get started. So what I did is I just took some um, white card stock and this is the recollections brand it's the two dollars a pack from Michaels and I'm gonna start with the water and I am going to use salty ocean oh just how appropriate is that <laughs> and I have a little dish of water and I have my koi water brush and I don't put water in the barrel because I feel like I don't get that I don't get enough control so I'm putting some water on my tip and then I'm going to brush it off on my hand and I'm going to put some of the distress ink in this dish just a little swish that's all I need and then I'm going to do that again and then I'm going to pick up some of the distress ink on my brush and then I'm just going to begin painting. I find this very relaxing. And sometimes this is funner than watercolor. It's just fun to paint with a brush. And then again, when I'm picking up water on my brush, I am taking off some excess water onto my hand. See how quick that is? And it doesn't have to be perfect. Because that's the whole fun part about this, is you don't have to be perfect. I see lots of people when they do their videos, they apologize in their videos for not being perfect, but this is an imperfect world and we don't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to do the sand. And I'm going to take some um, brushed corduroy. And again, I'm just a little bit in my dish. This is a ceramic white dish. It's just a dish I got at Goodwill. And I have my water. Brush it off of my hand. And then I dilute the distress ink. And then we'll see if this color is good for sand. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And then, if you want it darker, you dilute it with less water or you put more ink. And I try not to go over this too many times because I find that since this isn't watercolor paper, that it will start to peel. So I'm done with the fish tank already. And I'm going to move on to the little critters that I'm going to put into the fish tank. And I have a goldfish, a piece of coral, and a plant so and I'm just cleaning my brush off on my hand <laughs> and again I'm taking this is dried marigold this will be for the goldfish and I'm putting a little bit in my dish and there's my water a little bit on my hand I just wanted to make a goldfish. And I'm just painting it on. And I use Memento ink so I don't have to worry about the ink bleeding. I have had that happen. That was when I used, uh, you know, not so bright thinking here, but I used distress ink. <laughs> but duh. Yeah, Distress Ink is going to bleed. And see, I want that uh, goldfish a little bit darker, so I'm just going to add more Distress Ink to my little palette here. My plate palette. And I'm not going to dilute it so much now. My paper's wet, so it should go on pretty smooth. Get his little fin. And 
the tail. Okay, and he's done. Now I'm going to move on to the coral. And just how fitting, I'm going to use abandoned coral <laughs> for the color. Coral comes in many different colors, so you don't have to use abandoned coral. But I just happen to like this color. This is one of the newer colors. And how exciting the new four pack is going to come out real soon, I think. I have almost all of the distress inks now. I'm just missing a couple packs, and I can't seem to find them. When they, they go on sale, I think people snatch them up. There we go. And now we are going to go for this little piece of greenery. Again in my dish, just a tiny, tiny spot. And now wet. And then just paint. And I noticed distress inks when they dry, they, they dry a little bit lighter. So I know this. So that's why if if it looks too light on the paper, I know when it dries it'll be too light. So I try to make uh, the inks a little bit darker so when they dry they're the right color. But that is my painting with Distress Ink with my Lawn Fawn Fantastic set. I love this set. And I am going to make a card out of this. Uh, probably not tonight. I'm just going to do some painting tonight and this will be for another day when I make this card. So thanks for watching. Bye.